Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are gone. All except one, and her name is Anne. And she hid under the fire and the sand. doing this one. Alex. <sighs> Alex! Just give us the fucking keys, man. We'll fucking do it. Buddy, I'm sorry. Emmett had me working a double. There was another robbery in Edison. That sucks. Yeah. So, uh... Hey, uh... Where were you yesterday afternoon? Why? I ran into Sullivan. He was supposed to meet with you. You didn't show. It was yesterday. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I totally forgot. You, Alex Miller, forgot an appointment. <clears throat> That'll be a first. Uh, look, buddy, I know becoming a cop ain't exactly your first choice. You want law school, I know, but that ain't happening. Not on my salary. What if I got the money myself? Doing what? Look. First thing Monday, you're meeting Sully and you're taking that exam. I need you to stop being a kid and start becoming a man. So why California? I guess it's the farthest place away from my mother. You know, I guess there's actually people there. Shit! Come here! What are you doing? Dancing. I mean that. Are you kidding? I cleaned up an entire house yesterday. It's different. How is it different? 
Okay. We're only stealing insurance claimable stuff, right? In the bank we're placed the stolen things and newer ones. No real harm done. At the end of the day, we're actually stealing from major bankers and they're real crooks for the most part. I mean, they have it all, we have nothing. So, although I know what we do is wrong, I would argue that it's somehow fair. I'm taking half of this woman's tip. It's a different story. It's exactly the same. Okay, I'm not following you. You see that fat buck behind the counter? I know for a fact that he takes 80% of his waiter's tips. So really, I'm just stealing from the blood-sucking owner. And though wrong, I believe it's fair. Plus, this waitress is a bitch. You know it. What? I just wish she didn't have to go away. Good news. I got a big one. Come on. Please let me go. Please let me go. I can. Yes, you can. She killed her daughter. And you wanted her to pay. I understand. You understand nothing. Only a parent can know the bond that exists between a father and his child. My daughter was. My life, my joy, my light, my eyes, my, my, do you know what Cindy was doing when she ran over my daughter? masturbating her boyfriend. She should have gone to prison, but rich girls don't go to jail. That was wrong. So, I set things right. None of this is going to bring your daughter back. That's not really true. Dad? It's me. I, uh, I missed a man. Um... I was the one robbing those houses. I stole your keys and your codes. And 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> you deserve this. <laughs> I hope you can forgive me. I love you. There's no God. That's a joke. It's a bad joke. I play by the rules. I lived a decent life. I was a good husband. I worked hard. I fought in the war. I was a good father. None of it mattered. Life. God. Took everything away from me. Left me to fucking rot in this darkness. There is no God. You tell me what God would allow this. You're, you're not thinking straight. I'm not without it. Forget about the money. I'm going to the police right now to tell them what happened in there, what he did. Let's take this money and get away from here together forever. Is this really what you want? Of course. Let's get that fucking money. Huh? Oh! Okay. We're only gonna ask you one time. Where's the money? Tell me where it is. Or I swear to God, I will torture you until you do. Yeah, just take it. Take the money. Where is it? It's in the cradle. Take it. 